Hello fellow Star Trek fleet commanders, this is Black Haftin 8 from BHD8 Gaming. No matter what stage of the game you are in, grade 3 materials are always pretty difficult to come by. To compensate, you can build and scrap those grade 2 ships to go ahead and get grade 3 materials. Recently we've done a bunch of videos on the level 17 separatist systems, what was in those loot boxes when we farmed them up, what crews we used to do so, whether you should be building and scrapping your Envoy or your Fyndra. So in this video, we want to close out the series with some final grade two ship scrapping tips. We'll go over the importance of continuously building and scrapping those ships, even when you're into the grade four stage of the game and how to do so as efficiently as possible in this short video. Who doesn't want that leg up over their competition? Let's do it. So when it comes to building those grade two ships so that you can scrap them, of course, we're talking about your Envoy, the Fyndra, which we did a scrap boards video on. So you should not be building the Fyndra at this point from a scrapping perspective, the Taurus and the Tala. To build them, we do need those blueprints. We need grade two uncommon materials and Latinum to purchase the common materials and the ship parts. A little later on in the video, we'll show you the trick that veteran scrappers use to use less Latinum while they are trying to max out these ships. So stay tuned for that. So to farm up the blueprints for all of those ships, of course, we go to those level 17 separatist systems, which are Ashalon, Rana Nura, and Kabi. You can check out the playlist for more videos in this series where we farmed up 1,000 of those chests, what was in those chests, what happens if you try to get more than 1,000 chests, and what crews we used to get all of those in right around 90 minutes of screen time. You're not going to get very far in your building and scrapping these ships if you don't have grade 2 uncommon material. There's not really a shortcut around that other than to stay stocked up on your grade 2 raw materials so that you can continuously put those through your refinery at least at the minimum level. Maybe around the medium level if there's a ship that you know that you're trying to push a lot out of. Say the crystal for your envoys if you're trying to work on a G3 ship that requires a lot of crystals. Even players into their 40s with access to your grade 4 materials should be building and scrapping these because you're going to want to be pushing out those level 26 ships, which all require grade 3 materials, so you can scrap those for grade 4, and you'll still want to push your grade 2 ships through that scrapyard in between building and scrapping those level 26 ships so that you can keep that pipeline as full as possible. It should go without saying, but we're going to go ahead and mention it anyways. All of the research that you've done to reduce the cost of your crystal, gas, and ore on top of your ship components and even that tritanium and dilithium is all going to be handy for this. Next up, we'll show you how to save that latinum, but before we do, if you're getting any value out of this video whatsoever, please leave it a like for us. It does help the channel tremendously. Comment down below on how you've been doing with your building and scrapping if you've got any tips that you'd like to share with the greater community as well. Subscribe if you've not done so already, and share this video with anybody you think will get value out of it. As promised, here is the trick that veteran scrappers use to get more out of the latinum that they spend on these ships. Many people may not know this, but when you are spending your latinum on those ship parts, you actually get something like a bulk discount for those parts. That means the higher the quantity that you're purchasing at once, the lower the cost per unit for those ship parts. That's usually going to equate to your weapons on all your warships and your mining laser on your survey. They're going to have the best value overall whenever you convert your latinum into those ship parts. So what you're going to want to do is try to make sure that is the last component that you upgrade on each one of these ships. You're going to go click on that component first, however, purchase all of the parts that you need at that level, close that out, move on to the components you actually want to upgrade and upgrade them from there. If you run out of the ship parts in the process, you can rinse and repeat as needed. Keep clicking back on that, buying the ship parts from it, closing it out so you don't upgrade it and you still have access to it while you're upgrading other components. It doesn't sound like a lot, but the latinum cost that you save will actually add up tremendously over time, especially once you move on to those level 26 ships. You can do this at any stage of the game where you are buying ship parts with your latinum. So that pretty much rounds out our videos on our grade 2 ships to scrap for the grade 3 materials, including where to find the blueprints, how to keep that pipeline as full as possible, and how to save yourself some latinum in the process. We'd like to thank everybody who has financially supported our channel. If you'd like to leave us a tip, you can do so through the links in the description to our PayPal, Patreon, and you can actually join this YouTube channel for some other interesting perks. Non-monetary ways to support the channel, as always, are to like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you've not done so already, Share it with anybody that you think could get any kind of value out of it and not skipping those ads if they're presented to you. That's about it for now. Choose to live, my friends, and we'll see you again soon.